are a lot of misconceptions around pageants and what they represent and what they stand for. And I think representation is definitely a really, really big thing. It's key. Um, do you guys think pageants in South Africa and Africa in particular should be different to pageants around the world? I have to say that, um, you know, with Africa being so diverse in its types of beauty, it becomes actually a challenge for international standards because those are according to a specific type of beauty that does not always encompass Maybe even a more a type exactly. of beauty. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, and we know that for a long time, beauty pageants were based on that Western standards. And slowly you see it start and break. You start, you're seeing it break. And now even with Miss Jamaica, who is the second princess of Miss Universe, coming out with her afro. Who are the people that are setting these beauty standards? Is there like a head of the pageant? <laughs> who is making these rules? We need to understand that beauty pageantry is not something that, you know, came out of, of, of nowhere and mm. was established. We haven't normalized our blackness in beauty. And for, for us to say we're miles behind, it is based on our own standards and the relevance of beauty pageantry within our country because we're, we, we have a majority black people, but um, the majority of looks are based on Western standards. Are young black girls wanting to do pageants though? And they're, they're yeah, I'm talking about the, the normal South African girl. Is that young girl really growing up wanting to be in a beauty pageant? Is that something that she can even aspire to? Or do you think there's still so many things that are holding young black girls back and that is also showing why it's not changing in the systems? When we were competing, I remember I could dress myself and every single day I could call a stylist, I could call a, a designer, you know, I had been a model for so long. And then I asked, can a underprivileged black girl from a village become a South Africa? Can, is it possible? Not, Absolutely not. But now then, here we are saying it's Miss South Africa. Mm -hmm. How is it that we're calling it Miss South Africa when there's no inclusion of everybody in that population to compete within that competition? And therein lies the lack of trust. Yes, so we need to be truthful about that. We need to say, this is elitist. So and you guys would rather the pageants be called Miss Rich People Who Can Afford to Be a Part of It and not Miss South Africa? Perhaps.